Hey folks, just like I do on most Saturdays, I'm here to discuss an episode of a superhero animated series. And today, I will be talking about the Batman the Animated Series episode, Lock Up. If you haven't seen the episode, and you don't like spoilers, then you should go watch it now. But if you don't care about spoilers, stick around as I quickly sum up the plot of the episode before I get into the meat of this review. After Batman and Robin get wind from Scarecrow that there's a terrifying guard at Arkham possibly abusing his power, Bruce Wayne puts a panel up to determine if Lyle Bolton is really what the inmates say he is. After some tense questioning, the truth comes out and Bolton is fired for his questionable actions. He transforms himself into a scary new supervillain called Lockup and kidnaps some of the people he believes are the cause of the supervillains existing in perpetuity in Gotham. Batman and Robin face off against Lockup in an abandoned ship where they successfully rescue his victims. Cue credits. Like Renee Montoya and Harley Quinn before him, Lockup is another character created for this series and later imported to the comics. And also like those characters, I think that's a good thing because he actually adds something to Batman's supporting cast that wasn't there before. Many of Batman's foes have started off as decent people and slowly descended into a life of villainy, like Harley Quinn or Mr. Freeze or Two-Face or Clayface, but this is one of the only instances I can think of where the villain actually started off as a defender of law and order. In other words, an ally to Batman. The other instance would obviously be Two-Face. But I like the idea that at least a few of Batman's foes would have started off on the side of the angels and either fell into this life through circumstances that were beyond their control, like Two-Face, or were always bad eggs just abusing their power, like Lockup. What is really compelling and tragic about some of the villains I mentioned earlier, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, and Clayface, is that they are just as much victims as monsters, and you really do feel sorry for them, even as they commit these atrocities. And you might be thinking that this clown is nothing like those guys, because, as Robin says at the beginning of the episode, he's a 10 on the creepometer. He doesn't fall from being a nice guy into a scumbag. But I find his plight understandable anyway. Why? He lives in Gotham City. In the comics, Batman has gone so far as to call Gotham the greatest city in the world, but he must have been loopy on cold medicine when he said that, because this place really is a magnet for insanity. And not just colorful supervillains with funny nicknames, but villains in all shapes and sizes, like Rupert Thorne or Ferris Boyle, or the much more subtle types of criminals, at least compared to someone like the Joker, like Joe Chill. So someone like Lyle Bolton, who sees what's going on in Gotham City and has been going on for a while, he believes the only way to handle such an extreme situation is with extreme measures. Hey, a lot like Batman. Now sure, Batman doesn't take away the civil liberties of the bad guys he fights. He takes them to the cops where they're allowed their day in court. But like Lockup, Bruce Wayne saw an inexcusable haven of evil in Gotham City and saw that he had to do something about it, and what he had to do would be seen as insane and extreme. But he did it anyway. So no, Lockup isn't the sweet, innocent guy that bad things happen to, transforming him into a tragic fallen hero like Two-Face, but his situation is a sympathetic one, I think. And you often hear comic book creators say, that a hero's best villain is often a foil for the hero in some way. Superman is a benevolent alien, so Brainiac is an alien who uses his power for evil. The same kind of paralleling can be seen with Lockup, and yeah, it does make for what I feel is a fascinating character study. So as a side note, I'm kind of miffed that this guy hasn't been used more in the comics. I've only ever seen him in No Man's Land, where he was admittedly used to good effect, but this sort of weird combination of the Punisher with Judge Dredd, while still feeling 100% like a Batman foe, deserves more use than what he's gotten in my humble. I find myself wondering if the reason Lockup isn't as loved as I feel he should be is that he shows up so late in this series. Yeah, it's only two years after Harley Quinn's debut episode, but that feels like an eternity in TV time. Now yeah, it is possible that if Lockup had shown up in the beginning of this series instead of near the end, that he would be just as well loved as he is right now. After all, characters like Renee Montoya or Livewire from Superman the Animated Series aren't as highly beloved as Harley Quinn either, so it's possible that I'm just comparing Lockup's relative lack of success outside of this series with a character character who is really the exception to the rule, and if I ignored Harley Quinn, then Lockup's appearances and uses outside of this series look a lot more impressive, though I still find myself wishing that he was used more in the comics than what he usually is. So those are my thoughts on what is, again, in my humble, a highly underrated episode. But what did you guys think on the episode and of my review? If you liked this video, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you did like this video, you're in luck because I do this sort of video every weekend. Next week, I'll be talking about an episode of Batman Beyond, and the week after, I'll be tackling another episode of Batman the Animated Series, and I also do other videos throughout the week, so check those out as well. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.